Hello everybody, this is Zaxter99. Now what we're looking at here is Rogue Islands. I want to go ahead and thank the developers Big Fat Alien and uh, Blue Studios who reached out to me and gave me a key uh, for their game on Steam, Blue Stock Studios. Sorry, Big Fat Alien and Blue Stock Studios, uh, the developers of this game. And when you look at this game, guys, it looks like a voxel uh, kind of world. Kind of, You're kind of thinking Minecraft. You're going to be able to go in and build a house and collect resources and blocks of wood and uh, sand and all that good stuff. Don't let this game fool you. This game is a brutal experience right from the start. Kind of reminds me of a cross between like Dark Souls and Ziggurat. If you know what Ziggurat is, it is a high octane kind of a fantasy shooter. And this game is a load of fun. I'm going to show you my first game right after this. Hello, welcome back everybody. Welcome to Rogue Islands. We're gonna go ahead and get things started here. Controls, just taking a quick look at the controls. WASD, fire, left mouse button, jump space, zoom, left shift, choose a spell, E, open crafting, Q, uses F, collect is R, and then we have our hotkeys, okay. Pretty standard kind of controls here. Graphics, uh, defaulted to 1920 by 1080. My native resolution, full screen. Um, let's go ahead and turn off the anti-aliasing. I don't think I need that. And if this game is going to be, uh, like related on speed and stuff like that, I definitely want to make sure that I'm not lagging or anything. All right. Now, I only actually jumped in. I played, like, the intro to a game. I haven't played any of the game at all yet. Let's go ahead and go with the easiest level here, Explorer. Uh, we can craft nightmares uh, easily and we take less damage. So we'll go with the easiest level. For thousands of years, the gnomes of Vitalor flourished. A network of great trees bound their islands together. You gotta say it's a pretty world. Until one day, the Deep Root Grove revealed a demonic invasion. Demonic evasion. Great tree network went dark. Who knew? It went dark. But now, a brave gnome druid named Mockwort is sailing into the unknown to restore the Great Tree Network and save the Rogue Islands. All right, so we're taking the role of Mockwort. Our goal is to save the Rogue Island from the Dark Doom, endangering it islands interesting yeah the game definitely reminds you of minecraft $19.99 is the price for this guys like i said it just launched i think on the 19th of september so not very long ago but it is getting a lot of positive reviews okay you're here deepwood grove looks like the only location i have to go is one island lord hell now this game is supposed to be different uh procedurally generated every time you play Ah, I like the, uh, look at the clouds up there. Pretty, pretty cute looking world there. And look at how the world is all made up of the voxel blocks there. I like it. Hopefully the, the game's good. Yeah, see, generating island. For millennia, the roots of the grove pulled vital streams of energy from deep within the earth, enriching the valleys and forests. Lending the islands an abundance of light. Okay, whatever. All right, we are at the Vale. Traveling. Add ship fuel for furnace. Oh my god, guys, I'm already starving? I just started. What? Does that mean I'm starving already? I am, I'm starving. Okay, let me eat something here. Wild bulb, F. Use item. All mana field. Eight wild bulb. Alright. We're gonna swim over here. Oh my god, what the hell? Oh my god, I got demonic fish. Already trying to bite my head off. Help! Help! Jesus. Look at them things. Good grief. Oh yeah. 
All right, so let's go ahead and get some sand, shall we? Or dirt? Um, how do I collect it? It's easy to break up. All right, how do I collect this stuff? Find the demon portal is my quest. All right, I guess I can't collect this stuff. Yeah, none of my buttons like it said R to collect stuff and it wasn't working. What the hell? What the hell is shooting me? Oh, you're way over there. I take that. I like this uh, this wand here. Pretty damn cool. It shoots really fast. I picked up a ruby shard, spirit dust, whatever that is. I guess it's good. Look how quick I am going hungry, guys. I'm already more than halfway hungry again. Right by my 95 health. Uh, yeah, my stomach's already running down. I'm going to be hungry again in just a second. I got some aliens over here. Skeletons or whatever they are. Thankfully, they're not that tough. They die pretty quickly, but they are hitting me. I'm already down to 66 health. And you want to be careful about walking through the water. Them damn piranhas will get you. We got some kind of a bee here, but it went down quick. Have another flying idiot up there. Okay, I got skeletons on my left coming up at me. I got somebody over here shooting at me. Good God, this game is brutal. I wasn't expecting this going in, guys. I was expecting to come in and, uh, you know, collect some some wood and stuff like that. Build me a nice little home. Yeah, this uh, game is not about that at all, I don't think. Yeah, don't let the uh, screenshots fool you. Oh my God, what? He, he, like, raised his hand like he was going to cast some big spell at me. All right, I need health, guys. I'm at four freaking health after all that. I want to get that sparkly stuff, but there's a piranha right there waiting on me. Alright. Ah, and it got me. Something got me. Alright, well, good thing I took the easy level, huh? I'm glad I didn't go for the hard. Alright, I'm starving again, so we'll eat our last carrot here. And then we will, um... Jump in here. Alright, let's get over to this land here. Ooh, look at them! Look at them fish out there by the freaking boat. The mean, mean piranha-looking fish. Good grief! All right, there's somebody up on the hill. Let's get him. Okay, we're right back where we died last time. I like all that sparkly stuff that just falls. Got more sparkly stuff from something I killed here. Ooh, there's a carrot, but I don't got time right now. I got all kinds of crap shooting at me. Oh my god, this is fun, guys. This is really challenging right away, but I gotta say, this game moves really, really quickly. It reminds me of, like, Ziggurat. Except Ziggurat takes place in, like, a dungeon, but it's really fast, kind of magical um, shooting and stuff like that, like this. Really uh, responsive, uh, quick controls. But this is an open, voxelated world. I kind of like it. All right, you need to die. Again, see him spread his hands out like he was going to cast some, like, death spell on me. I'm down to 43 health. Alright. Let's go up here and, uh, see if we can find something to heal me. Okay, that's probably going to heal me. Okay, but I tried to shoot the thorny thing and it killed my, my food. My peppy corn or whatever it was. Alright. Man, these guys do not take long to find you, and they come from all directions. Like, you do not have time to, like, try to craft a house or anything like that. I don't even think that's going to be uh, a goal in this game. I think you are looking for this uh, demon portal or whatever it is. And in the meantime, you're going to try to stay alive. And I'm starving again, guys. As you can see, down on health. Ugh. I'm trying to kill those thorns. They do fizzle and go away. Uh, you take enough damage from these skeletons and all the monsters hitting you. You don't need to be taking damage from big thorny plants, too. This game is fun, guys. The responsive controls in this game is ex extremely fluid. Um, what the hell is that growl? Oh my god! You're evil looking. A big, like, purple thing with a big eye. And teeth. Oh my god. And yeah, it killed me. What an evil little purple flying thing. And I'm starving again and I have no food. Alright, well, let's uh, 
let's jump in the water. Let's try to go over this direction a little bit. Oh no. Oh no. Look at these fish. No. Maybe it was a bad idea to try to run all the way over here, swim all the way over here. Look at these guys. Look at these freaking mean ass fish. These have got to be the meanest fish I've ever seen. All right. Guys, I'm down to 22, one health, one health. And you can't shoot these guys. You can't shoot the fish in the water. You can't shoot while you're swimming either. I already tried. You can't see. And I'm dead, guys. So, easiest level, three lives, I'm dead, and I lasted six minutes. And there's my stats. I like how it gives you stats. Guys, this is a fun game. I highly recommend it. I think this game is very addictive. Uh, I think they've made a good game here. Yeah, I, I, I need to play the game more, but definitely looks like it's worth the 20 bucks. Uh, this looks like a high octane game, and I like it. I want to go out and thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go ahead and upload this video, guys, so you guys can see what this game is about. This has been Zach39. Be sure you comment and read my video. Take care, everybody. See you soon.